Hey yo, what's up guys, I'm back. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons has been out for three days now and I already have a playthrough going through the whole thing which you can check with the cards in the video. But this is going to be a review. Is Minecraft Dungeons good? Is it worth getting? Etc. Initially, yes. The game is absolutely amazing. I fully love about 99.98% of everything they do. The only real gripe I have with this game is that when you're playing co-op, the res and the attack button are the same, which can be a little bit annoying. But other than that, I have nothing, nothing but praise for this game. This game does the combat really well. The enchanting system is outstanding. Some of the things you get are just absolutely phenomenal. The story is really surprising for a Minecraft game. Some of the perks, such as the firework arrow, which I'm just showcasing, are honestly stunning. Honestly, some of these things they should really bring into like the actual version of Minecraft. I love some of the weapons that we have in this game in actual Minecraft. I think it's like look at the corrupted beacon. Honestly, the armor system works really, really well. The fact that you can upgrade and get different weapons and artifacts. Honestly, I have nothing but praise for this game. If you're a fan of just Minecraft in general, this is something you'll definitely enjoy. Obviously, exactly the same art style. Just, uh, obviously, it's set in a dungeon crawler type of aspect. Although, honestly, 99.8% nothing but praise. The only real gripe, like I said, is the res and the attack being the same button. And the fact you can't change camera angles and sometimes you can't see enemies, kind of like how I'm showcasing now, can get a bit annoying. But other than that, nothing but praise. You definitely should go pick up this game. If you're not going to pick up the game, you should definitely at least watch a full walkthrough just to see how it all works. An example of a walkthrough, a bit of a shameless plug, but it's the one on my channel. We go through everything. But honestly, this game, the combat is amazing. The enemies are quite challenging. Creepers, oh man, they blow up crazier than normal. I'm showcasing now you can carry TNT for devastating, devastating effect. I believe I'll throw it in a minute. Oh, yeah. Honestly, some of these things like survive the ambush that you get in the majority of missions. The Arch Illager is actually a really fun and interesting boss. There we go, the TNT, crazy damage. You get so many different enemy types. You get different armor sets, all with their own unique perks. Honestly, I have nothing, nothing but praise for this game. The speed boots as well are phenomenal. Arrow bundles. So you buy things with emeralds at the traders. You can get different artifacts. And different weapons that are appropriate to your power, as they say. But look at that corrupted beacon. Honestly, it is absolutely just amazing. I love, I love this story more than I actually like the Minecraft story mode. I love where they go. Uh, the fact that if you pull up your map, there's always, you're always, always missing secrets. As you can see in the bottom left, secrets found 0 out of 3, chests open 1 out of 6. And you can see on the map that there is, in the bottom, there is places I haven't explored. I'm just trying to take you through it as like background gameplay. The regeneration aspect's really cool as well. You can randomly get food drops and you'll regen your health. Uh, this particular armor set that I have is really wicked. Mystery armor. It grants like a circle of damage. Or as I like to call it, the ring of fire. And it just damages enemies they even walk into it. So I don't even have to... <laughs> Sometimes I don't even have to damage the enemies. They just walk in. But yeah, you got spiders, creepers... Just the classic Minecraft villains. You know, you got cows, you got evokers. This was this was a really cool boss the first time I caught this. Just sitting 
down. We got TNT again. Devastating effect. We got these piggies that always drop some nice loot. Now you got the classic skeleton enemies. Classic spiders. It's everything you could want out of a Minecraft game. And arguably more. I love the loot aspect. Honestly, you get straight potions. Looting. Oh, the looting just feels so good. Especially when you get unique stuff. I guess it's... I guess it's Minecraft's version of exotic armor from like Destiny and that kind of looty games. But you get unique items and weapons. Like I have the mace right now. The unique lightning warp crossbow, which is really cool. These supply chests as well are really helpful, coming clutch several times. Uh, also, if you level up mid-fight, you get all your health back, which on some areas has been pro gamer clutch. Because honestly, some of the areas are actually pretty difficult. The final boss was actually a really good challenge. The first phase deceptively easy, but that second phase, oh, it really gets you. You're not on. If you're not on it, honestly, I found the only strat to actually deal with the final boss is just to use the totem of shielding that you get. Honestly, nothing, nothing but praise for this game. We're just gonna run through this while I kind of talk about the story. You know, you've got this arch illager who's uh, taking over all the different villagers, and it's your job to take him out. This guy. Oh, I think he's too long to uh, uh, Honestly, the story actually goes quite in deep. I'm re actually quite impressed. These random ambushes you have sometimes are really cool as well. The different kind of enemies are just absolutely amazing. Like, the illagers the are obviously uh, standard cannon fodder. But you have uh, different kinds of illagers. You have these enchanted boys, which make enemies do extra damage. Obviously, you have your Eroka. And honestly, just the mini bosses. Endermen are a mini boss in this, which is crazy. When I first saw them, I cried. Well, I you screamed did and it. cried. And the villagers of the pumpkin pass the whole just go on to fight thing, another day. It just feels awesome. You know, you get cool stuff every time you complete a level. There's an online aspect as well to this, which is more than you could want. It is just absolutely stunning i genuinely have nothing nothing but praise for this game the only thing i change is the ability to change the camera angles and change the res button when you're online to um something different to the attack but sometimes that can get a bit annoying but honestly this camp is a really good home base there's always little secrets like chests and stuff places like down here when you complete the campaign you get what's called adventure mode so you can replay all the stuff but they're on a much harder difficulty and it genuinely makes things really really interesting but honestly if you haven't picked up this game i'd fully recommend it they really took their time with this game and it really shows because it is genuinely stunning for a Dungeon crawler, Minecraft. It really came out and it really it just it lives up to the hype, guys. That's that's it. At the end of it, it just lives up to the hype. If you don't have this, go out and get it. If your kids want this, I'd recommend getting them this because this is honestly just so so much fun. Uh, you got different secret areas down here. Like, bit of an easter egg. I guess this is all the people who worked worked on the game. And honestly, I've said honestly about 62 times this video. But genuinely, oh, look, a dog. Uh, so, obviously, we've got these ruins that uh, we get from replaying adventures. And, yeah. So, obviously, we've got new missions coming in as soon as you finish the campaign, such as Archhaven. 
and creepy craft and obviously coming soon we've got island realms but seeing as this game has only been out about three days at the time of this recording honestly absolutely stunning definitely worth investing in if anyone wants it it's so worth it i was very very happy to play this game uh just nothing nothing but praise but anyway guys that's my review of minecraft dungeons if you enjoyed please make sure to like subscribe catch the whole playlist of me doing a whole walkthrough of this game if you don't have this game definitely get it and i'll catch you next time